Hey everyone, so I just wanted to do a quick video showing a productivity technique that I've started using, which has made quite a big difference. Now you've probably heard of the Pomodoro technique, I've used this for quite a long time on and off, and I find it does make a difference, but I keep on stopping using it. But what I do find makes a difference, and I've only recently started doing this more heavily, is taking notes while I do Pomodoro. And this can be in something as simple as Notepad. So what I do, in Windows, I'm not sure about Mac, there's a shortcut Windows and Dot, and it gets up emojis, so you can start tapping Tom for tomato, so you can have a nice tomato emoji, and I would type Pomodoros, and then I would put a number, and I would put a goal. Now, before we go too much further, just in case you don't know what the Pomodoro technique, basically you set a time for 25 minutes, and you focus on the task at hand for 25 minutes. No checking emails, unless the task is something to do with emails, no checking Teams or Slack messages, no checking Twitter or any of these things, just focusing on this one task at hand. When the 25 minute timer goes off, you get a five minute break or a 10 minute break, and then you repeat, do another Pomodoro of 25 minutes. So here, before starting, I'll just type a goal. So let's go with that. I'm saying I've got 25 minutes to focus and I want to write an integration test, a happy path one against this API endpoint. Now I might be able to do that in less than 25 minutes, but let's give myself some time. This is my goal for 25 minutes. Once I've finished, once the time goes off, I would write a result. So I might say complete or whatever notes I want to put about how that Pomodoro went. And what I would tend to do is I would tend to put an emoji against it. So if I've done it, I might also put another emoji which symbolizes some kind of emotion. So if, I, if I've done lot, whatever this goal is, if I've done lots, I might put something like this. Now it actually might be something like this. Imagine if I had a really horrible Pomodoro. And what you generally find is, um, I'm just gonna duplicate this, but obviously there'll be different things about the day. So hopefully my day doesn't look like this, but you can see if I've had a horrible day, at a glance I can see how my day went. But if I've had an awesome day, Maybe I had one horrible one, and then obviously these would be numbered. So I can see at a glance how my day went. And this doesn't include things like meetings. I don't tend to keep these. I started off just copying these into Obsidian, which I use for notes, and keep a history of them. But then I realized I've never looked back, but that doesn't stop them from being really powerful on the day for just keeping me focused in 25 minute blocks. I especially find this useful if I'm just finding that I'm very, maybe some days I'm very distracted, so I'm just checking my email too much as habit just to take my mind off what I'm supposed to be doing. And I find the Pomodoro technique really helps me. Once you're using it quite often and you really get used to starting the Pomodoro timer, and you know that means you can't be distracted, you can't check your emails, do other things. Once your brain gets used to that, it's almost like a mental switch. And quite often I find there's mental resistance to reaching for the mouse and starting that Pomodoro timer, because I know that as soon as I click on that, I've got 25 minutes of focus. And I know my brain's gonna switch into that mode where I'm focusing. So actually the lead up, that starting, they do say that the hardest thing about a task is actually getting started. For me now, it's the hardest thing is actually clicking that start timer on the Pomodoro. Speaking of timers, the one I use is called Tomite. So this is a free desktop timer on Mac and Windows. And basically it becomes a system tray icon if I just open it now and drag it up. So I can start the timer. And then you can drag this, you can move this around anywhere you want. Once it finishes, you get an option saying it's actually, it actually shows it in the UI, but obviously I'm not gonna wait 25 minutes for it to finish, but you can actually get choose between a short break or a long break. There's two buttons that appear. And then when you're doing that, you get a green break. And then once you finish that, you can start your next timer. So that's free, I find this really good. I can just drag it to another window. I quite often have this open in a second monitor, in my right hand monitor, and I would have like this at the bottom of the notes. So hopefully you found that useful. If you did, please like and subscribe. And if you have any productivity tips like this that really help you focus, please leave a comment down below because I'd be really interested on hearing it.